guys, it's Brittany and oh my god, can you guys guess where I am right now? Yes, I am at the 666 house. It is right behind me. Sorry, it's like really windy so my hair is blowing all over the place. But this is my 10th Q&A video, my final Q&A video, so I wanted to film it in a different location since it's my last one and I decided you know what I'm gonna go in front of the 666 house so I'm sorry if my hair is like blowing all over the place it's like I'm in a music video or something <laughs> so if you guys want to like sit outside with me and we can just you know sit in the Sun together enjoy the weather the first question I'm gonna make a generalized question because I've been getting this one a lot ever since I started making these Q&A videos so that question is what music do I listen to you guys all know that I listen to Britney Spears obviously but Britney Britney Spears and Michael Jackson are my top two favorite musicians of all time. And if you want to know what my favorite Michael Jackson song is, it's Blood on the Dance Floor and who is it? But Blood on the Dance Floor, I love singing that song because there's like so much attitude into it. I love it. Susie got your number, Susie ain't your friend, look who took you under seven inches in. Blood is on the dance floor, blood is on the knife, Susie got your number, Susie says it's right. And a lot of you guys want to know what my favorite band is. My favorite band of all time is probably Linkin Park. I've been a huge fan of them ever since I was in high school. They were a huge part of my life in high school. Like I was obsessed with Linkin Park. Their songs are just so awesome. They're so unique. My favorite song by them is Points of Authority, but it's not the hybrid theory version. It's the reanimation uh, version. I love all their music and my favorite album by Linkin Park will always be Meteora. That's one of my all-time favorite albums of all time. The next question is by Daisy Grace 14 Love your channel so much. Thank you so much, girl. Do you think zombies or vampires are scarier? Well, honestly, vampires, they don't really freak me out. I don't really understand vampires. Like the whole Twilight thing, I was kind of just like, mm, not a fan of Twilight. And I've seen like three of the movies, but it just didn't do it for me. And those vampires like sparkle. So I guess that's kind of vampire I would be because I glitter in the sun because <laughs> I like glitter. But um, I would say zombies are definitely scarier. They seem more real to me. You know, they're humans that died and, you know, been infected with some virus and then they come back from the dead and they want to eat other humans and they like eat your brains and they just go crazy and they chase you and they follow you everywhere. So I would definitely say zombies for sure. The next question is by Britty444. I love your username. Thank you so much. And your question is, hey girl, hey. <laughs> Have you ever been in a car accident or been pulled over by the cops? I've never been in a car accident before and I've never been in trouble with the law but there was this one time I was in high school and long story short everybody that day was like don't go outside don't jaywalk because everybody at my school used to jaywalk on our street because there was no um, crosswalk so we just would jaywalk that's what my whole school did we would like jaywalk together I used to skip school a lot and I'm not trying to promote that but I had a hard time in school as you guys a lot of you guys know I hated it so I had to get out of there so I skipped school a lot especially in the afternoons I would just go home early I just did not care so that day everybody in my school was like you know we can't jaywalk today the police are watching they're gonna give us tickets I'm just like mm, please I've been jaywalking for years so um, my rebel self I skipped the last period and I was all by myself just jaywalking across the street I'm just like <laughs> There are no police officers here. I made it. Like, that was all lies. People are just dumb. Like, why would they lie about that to me? So, <laughs> I kept just walking down the sidewalk, and then all of a sudden, I saw this officer just come out of nowhere. And it was a female officer, and she was just kind of standing with her hands on her hips, looking my way. And I, <laughs> I don't know why, but I was like, oh my god, what, who are they looking for? Like, there's some criminal. Oh my god, like, this is so cool. I like seeing, like, cops in action. I don't know. I like watching stuff like that. So I was like, oh my God, they're looking for somebody. So I kept looking around, like, who are they looking for? And then it hit me, the closer I got to her, I was like, oh my God, I'm the criminal. And I started freaking out. I was like, oh my God, my school was right. They are giving us tickets for jaywalking. And I'm like, oh crap, should I run? I was so close to running away. Luckily, I didn't. <laughs> I don't know what would have happened. <laughs> it would have been like all over the news. <laughs> this crazy blonde girl is running away from the police. <laughs> so I just kept walking towards the police officer and then she was so mean, like beyond mean. She gave me a ticket for jaywalking. I think it was like $50. She treated me like I just robbed eight banks and I killed like 20 people like 20 seconds ago. She was really rude about it. And I kept saying to her, I'm like, I, 
I'm not a criminal. I don't do stuff like this. I'm like, I jaywalk all the time, which is kind of dumb for me to say. And she was like looking up my name in the computer and stuff. And she had me like lean against the car. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's going to handcuff me. But she didn't. But she gave me a ticket and she's like, you need to pay this in the next month or something. Or like, we'll be after you. And I'm just like, all right, girl, fine. The next question is by underscore, underscore fandom, underscore, underscore account. How long does it take you to edit your videos? You know what? It really depends. If I'm doing an urban legend or one of those scary stories, then that usually takes me about an hour. But my acting videos, they do take me a few hours too. The longest video, I don't even remember what video it was, but I remember editing a video for eight hours straight. It took me forever. The next question, I'm gonna make another generalized question because I do get this a lot, and that question is, have I ever smoked, or have I done drugs, or do I smoke now, or do I do drugs now, <laughs> or do I drink? And no, I have never smoked in my life. I have never done drugs in my life. I don't drink, it's just not my scene. Yes, I have had sips of alcohol. I have tried alcohol before. And I just felt like an idiot. It's just not, it's not for me. And a lot of people actually look down on me for that, which I, I don't understand. People think, I don't know what people think. They just think I am this crazy person because I don't drink. And every time someone finds that out about me, they look at me like I'm a serial killer or something. And I just, I don't understand that. I am proud of myself for not doing that. I think it's smart. I'm not saying you're smart or you're not smart if you drink and stuff, but it's just not my scene. I don't understand why people make such a big deal out of that. And ever since I was little, I just knew it wasn't gonna be my scene. It's just not my scene. The next question is by Tatiana73103. Have you gotten scared in the last 10 days? And why? In the last 10 days have I been scared? Every time I film a video in my basement, I get really scared to come downstairs because all the lights are out and I feel like there's something standing at the bottom of the stairs and it's looking back up at me so that freaks me out when i'm sitting in the hosting room that's what i call that creepy room that i film a lot of my videos in now i'm obsessed with that room i, I love it i think it's so creepy i love having the mirror in the background with the candle and that room freaks me out too i'm just like oh my god what if there's something in here so the only thing i've really been scared about is my basement when i go down to film i'm actually like really scared when i go down the stairs but when i'm actually down there filming i'm not that scared anymore sometimes i'll look around I have my moments when I'm really scared down there and then I have my moments when I'm brave and I'm just like what am I scared about <laughs> the next question is by Jahida Taurus I'm pretty sure that's how you say it I'm so sorry and your question is if you were to pick to be in the Annabelle movie or to be in the cast of Pretty Little Liars which one would you choose a lot of you guys know that I am obsessed with Pretty Little Liars that is like my favorite show so but you know what I'm also a huge fan of the Annabelle movie and the whole Annabelle story. I think I'm gonna have to make this one a tie. Ugh, it all depends, like am I the star of Pretty Little Liars? Or is it just like a walk-on role? If I got to be the star of Pretty Little Liars and I got to be the star of Annabelle, oh my God, but I got both opportunities and I could do both, then like, yes, I would do both. <laughs> the next question is by underscore Carla underscore Castillo underscore. Hey girl, hey, hey girl, hey. <laughs> Love your videos, thank you so much. And my question is, if you ever saw a ghost, what would be your reaction? I had a lot of weird experiences when I was little, when I did see things, at least I, I think I saw things, and I wasn't scared. So it's really weird as a kid because I wasn't scared, but today if I saw one, I think, I don't know how I would react. I really don't. The kind of ghost I would be scared to see is a woman in a long white dress or a long blue dress with really long black hair covering her face. That's the kind of ghost that freaks me out and also the ghosts that kind of just stand in the corner and stare at you. Just like, I think I'm more scared of the way a ghost would approach itself to me, like show itself, and I think that's all in my head. I think if I actually saw one, I don't think it would be like that. I think I've just watched too many movies, so I have this image in my head of what it really would be like when really it's it's not like that, but I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know if I would scream, if I would run up to the ghost and try to hug the ghost, take a selfie with the ghost, you know. 
I'll let you guys know when that day happens, when I do see something. <laughs> the next question, I'm gonna make a generalized question, and that is, what should I name my subscribers? And a lot of you guys have come up with these different names, like mermaids, <laughs> which I think is so funny. Ghosts, which I think is so funny too. I know we all say like, hashtag Team Birdie 44, which um, will always be a thing forever. I love saying that. But I want a name for you guys, and I really do not know. I came up with this name, I came to my head, it was called Ghost Squad. I think that would be a cool name, but I kind of want it to just be like simple and like one syllable or like two syllables, you know what I mean? So I really don't know. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comment section or message me or whatever. Obviously Team Birdie 44 will always be the main thing. And oh my god, there's like a tornado! I would love to call you guys Ghostbusters, but I don't think I can. <laughs> but that would be an awesome name. Oh my god, why is this so windy? Man, this is a really bad idea. I hope this Q&A turns out okay, because I hate when my hair blows. As you guys can tell, I'm always... I'm just, I don't like when my whole face is like, you know what I mean? I don't like that. <laughs> but yeah, so let me know what your guys' ideas are for names, and in a future video, I will like tell you guys, and then we can vote on it, and yeah. So I'm excited, so let me know. <laughs> I think there is a storm coming, you know, when it starts getting windy, you can feel it in the air, which I hope there's a storm coming, because I love thunderstorms. I love thunderstorms so much. Random fact, I love weather. I love thunderstorms, and I love tornadoes. <laughs> Okay guys, so the last question for my Q&A series so far, <laughs> I'm gonna make it a generalized question again. I get this question all the time. And that question is, when is my birthday? <laughs> my birthday is July 5th. So I am a Cancer and I absolutely love my sign. It's the sign of the crab, which I think is really funny because my last name is Crab. So it's like it was meant to be. And I'm a typical Cancer, typical. Very emotional, very loving. and. I love my sign so yes yeah, so my birthday is July 5th oh my god you guys it is now the end of my Q&A videos for the next little while a lot of you have been asking me why I only made 10 and you know I'll be honest a lot of you wanted me to make these Q&A's and I was like you know what I think it would be really fun I don't want to make it a permanent thing on my channel that was never my intention I honestly was only gonna make three three Q&A videos, and then once I got to three, I was like, mm, maybe I'll do five. So when I got to five, I was like, you know what, I think I'm gonna do 10. I would love to start up these Q&A videos again, maybe in the fall and do 10 more. It's just, my channel is a paranormal channel, and you know, I know I've had some random videos on my channel before, but it strictly is a paranormal channel, and that's just what I want my channel to be. You know, I love doing these Q&As, but I, did, I just didn't want it to be a permanent thing on my channel, you know. But eventually, I would really love to add a third day, a permanent day, to my channel where I upload a third paranormal video. And I, that day will be a Sunday. I'm not sure when that's going to be. It's just been so much fun, and I hope you guys enjoy sitting out in the sun with me today, <laughs> enjoying this weather. I just wanted to do something different for my last Q&A, so I was like, you know what? We're gonna go to the 666 house and I'm gonna take you guys with me because I know you guys like this place and um, You know, I don't know if it's really haunted I don't know if there's demons in there But I just call it the 666 house because there's a 666 on the front of the house So <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I can't believe this is the end. You know, I've had so much fun making these I really appreciate you guys watching if you want to watch all of my Q&A videos I will link or no, I don't have a playlist Maybe I'll make a playlist I will link them all in the description box below so you guys can just watch them all. I hope you enjoyed this one, like the new scenery. <laughs> and let me know what name you guys want me to call you. So let me know in the comments below. I'm really excited. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.